Hey, good morning, everybody. It's about 6 a.m. I'm going to take off in an hour or so and uh, meet Boone. We're heading to Wahin. I jumped on the airport rail link at Makassan Station, and we almost timed it perfect. Boone is on the train right behind me. She lives kind of close, a short motorbike ride over to uh, the airport rail link in the La Prau area. So we'll meet here at Sawanapum and grab up a rental car. Oftentimes she'll borrow her uh, cousin's car, but I just decided to rent one at uh, Eurocar, Eurocorp, something like that. I've never uh, rented a car here, so we'll have to go find out what the procedure is, if there's a shuttle bus or parking garage attached. On the second floor at International Arrivals is where you'll find all the rental car desk. I would not drive in Bangkok if you don't have to. I don't care how good a driver you are. The traffic's just horrible. The trains are great. Even heading off to Wahin today or Padia, you can jump on a nice large Greyhound style bus and they'll get you out there nice and cheap. But uh, we're doing some running around, so renting a car is the way to go. And down here on the first floor, you'll find the buses to Padia and Wahin. Take one of these larger buses. You don't uh, you don't want to get stuffed in a minivan heading out there. It's less than 100 miles, but that can be murder. These are at least uh, medium-sized buses. You can rent a cab, but I don't know what that costs. I, I would guess ar around 50 or 60 US dollars. I see 190 baht to the North Padia bus station. That is the one I believe up by Jam Tien. The one that takes off from Ekamai, it heads in the uh, southern bus terminal. And I just asked Boone if I was saying Wahin right, and she says yes. But my Padilla could use some work. She says Pattaya. But she always follows that up with, it really doesn't matter. And it doesn't. I've said it in other videos. If you say Los Angeles or Los Angeles, we're going to know what you're talking about. Padilla. Pattaya. They'll both get the job done. Also down here on, uh, where are we at? We just left the first floor. Gate four straight across is the grab pickup point. You can see a large number of people in line. I, I have probably taken grab more than taxis here from the airport. But grab's actually a little bit more expensive. I know it's uh no nonsense but most of the cabs here at the airport you go in line over there it tells you to go to space 27 with an agreed upon price now with grab most of the time you need to tell them to take the uh, toll road and then they'll roll it in almost like a tip it's an additional charge and that might be one of the buses to Wahin or Patia. And here's our car, e Europe car, Euro car. FM 88, some good expat tunes. We got a little bit of traffic heading up here to the first uh, toll booth. And we are in no big hurry. We have a 142 mile drive, 10.45 a.m. You can see the raised track of the airport rail link. I had a person comment that it was an old and dirty train, and I'm not sure what they're talking about. Uh, it was cleaner than any train I've ever seen in the United States. If I'm not uh, dodging people living on the train and worrying about what I'm sitting on, it's a clean train to me. And this is a holiday weekend. You really, uh, unless you don't have a choice, don't want to be dealing with Bangkok traffic at any time during rush hour, much less uh, Friday afternoon on a three-day holiday weekend. But here at uh, 1045, we're doing okay. There's a little bit of traffic on the other side of the road. It's actually bumper to bumper. Heading off in the direction of uh, Chambury and then on to Padia. Really taking the bus, if, if you can avoid going anytime on Friday. That's a good idea. Plan your vacation. Try to head to that Ekamai bus station or 
even flying in, I know you can't control that often, but yeah, if you can uh, get on one of those buses on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, midday, you'll do yourself a favor, traffic-wise, maybe cut a half hour off the trip. And leaving Bangkok, we're heading over the Chao Phraya River on the Rama 9 Bridge. Still plenty of traffic heading into the city. And lots of new construction connecting to the bridge. New lanes coming. So taking off out of the airport, 1045, it's now 1118. And the other option was to get a rental car on, uh, I don't know, around Nana or somewhere, but then we'd both have to travel there could both easily get on the airport rail link and getting out of Nana can sometimes be a nightmare so we did have to cross Bangkok traffic but it looks like uh, it's better in this direction than the other plus the selection usually you'll pick up a rental car at a hotel in the Nana area there's a couple of places at collision and body shops but I'm a bit of a cheap Charlie in my retirement, so when the rental car bill was 60 bucks at the airport or more like 110 bucks at the rental cars in downtown Bangkok, I just make the trip out to the airport. Plus, it's usually an SUV or something bigger at one of those hotels. We're just in a little whatever this is. A, I don't even know what it is, a Nissan Altima or something. It'll be a little better on gas. So it is 2.30, we're pulling into Wah Hin. We made about a half hour pit stop and we got stuck in some pretty good traffic in Bangkok. So just uh, from Sawanapum to get on the other side of the Chao Phraya River, that took us about 45 minutes, which isn't bad, but yeah, it's, uh, it's not 20 minutes either. And here's where we're staying, the City Beach Resort. I don't know anything about it. I think it's 400 meters from the beach which is off in this direction little Italian restaurant across the way and it's Friday afternoon whatever this street is I saw a little market down by the uh, water I'm not expecting too much I got it on a Goda for hi I, don't know, I was less than 25 bucks a night one of those go to deals where it's uh, 129 on sale for 29 yeah, It looks like a nice clean place. That's the thing with uh, Thailand. You could stay at one of the finest hotels in, t in town here. I want to say the Sheraton was $120 a night, the Sheraton Resort. Once again, we're just staying for a couple of nights and coming off a pretty expensive... Uh, who, let's see, in the past six weeks, we've did Japan... Bali, and now just a run over to Wai Hen. But I'm sure we'll come back at some time and check out that Sheraton Resort. The Hilton Resort was also under $150. I didn't notice what the Intercontinental was priced at, but it's fairly affordable, especially on points. And here's our room. I asked for one large bed, and it's just kind of two small beds pushed together, but that's fine. Little balcony. Yeah, a clean little toilet. Yeah, what do you want for 25 bucks? A little swimming pool down on the second floor. And right across the street from Father Ted's Irish Pub. Pretty good location. And the water's just off this way, just on the other side of those trees. YM Beach. And one of my hotel neighbors. Pretty good looking ranger down here in the parking lot. Whenever I'm uh, staying in a cheaper hotel, it's usually somewhere down the Baja. I miss my uh, Baja California adventures. You can go back and check out some of my old videos two years ago, even three years ago, running up and down the Baja coast from San Diego, a thousand kilometers all the way down to Cabo San Lucas. Everything in between Baja 1000, all the different uh, 
little beachside town, San Felipe, on and on. And I don't know much about Y Hen. I'd like to learn. Nice little mellow beachside town. I wish they still had that ferry that ran from here over to Padilla for some of those wild adventures. But who knows, maybe I'll end up down here in this beach community one day. But I've heard many good things about this Father Ted's. There was a good Rolling Stones cover band, the Midnight Ramblers. I think the singer went off to Europe to live but I know they played Father Ted's often. And we're right across the street. Get some good food, some cocktails. Maybe do a little stand-up paddle boarding. And I don't know anything about these hotels. Right next to Father Ted's is the Jed P. Nang Hotel. I think this is a pretty central location to Wahen Beach. I mean, you can, uh, you can be way over there towards the base of that mountain and it's a pretty, pretty darn good walk to the water. All kinds of bikes for rent. We're also next to the Siren Hotel and Restaurant. If you're just uh, looking for a cheap little getaway, there are plenty of $25 and $30 hotel rooms. Ah, there's a couple of $10 hotel rooms. I'd probably shy away from that. But there's nothing wrong with uh, our little room. Not for a couple of nights, anyhow. Japanese restaurant. European food, burgers, fish and chips, pizza. Yeah, this uh, definitely caters to uh, the expats. And all the small taxis standing by here at Wahen Beach. All kinds of tourist items, a couple little uh, small day drinking bars. Well, I guess it's Going on four o'clock. Some classic concert tees. Kiss Destroyer. It rained about two hours ago on the drive in, but it's beautiful now. We went by uh, King Rama 9, his palace. Boone said he spent most of his later years hanging out down here before he got sick. There's a famous uh, YouTube of President Obama. I think I've mentioned this before visiting the king in the hospital and Sukhumvit is its normal chaotic self. All of a sudden, uh, motorbikes come out of nowhere, police just shut the place down and here comes the uh, presidential motorcade. So here's the Santerra Grand Beach Resort and Villas. I saw this on a Goda, it was fairly affordable. Yeah, if I was going to go a little higher end, um, uh, what was it? The Hilton Resort, which I think is right downtown here. The Sheraton is, it appeared to be about 10 kilometers from here. Not, not a crazy distance, but it'd be a little more difficult to walk everywhere, if I'm correct. I know we passed a Sheraton and a large Radisson Resort. But that Hilton... Again, Agoda is a little bit of a come on. It'll say the rooms are 400 baht slash to 250 slash to 101 tonight only. But that's a that's a pretty decent price, 101. The only issue with uh, some of those fancier hotels, they get into resort fees and on and on. So that, that 110 will turn into 150 rather quick. That's still a, a decent price. But when you're coming off of Tokyo and Bali in the last six weeks, it's nice to uh, get back to some cheap Thai prices. And I haven't walked five minutes from the hotel. And I'm down at the beach. I see the horses standing by for rides. And it looks like we're on a bit of a high tide. Plenty of uh, chairs and umbrellas to rent. And they'll rush any food or drinks your way. It's a nice day. The only thing I, I miss here in Thailand is the surf. I know this is whatever it is, the Bay of Thailand or, or whatever it is. I'm, I'm not even positive of this body of water. But it's not an ocean with waves coming from Bali. 
that was uh, extra nice. Although you can use these calmer seas to do some stand-up paddle boarding and wind surfing, kite surfing. You can do that on the ocean as well, but it's a little easier without the, uh, the swells. And there's the Hilton Resort. Yeah, I mean, pick your spots. Tonight on a three-day holiday weekend on Friday, it was uh, ooh, all in with taxes and resort fees and all. Less than $150 a night. It was listed at $110, but even my room was listed at whatever it was, $25, $29, and it ended up being closer to $50 bucks a night with all the little VATs, tourist tax, whatever it is. And I've walked back off the beach just two minutes up the way on the right is my hotel. Here's the Pizza de Roberto. I'm gonna walk down here towards the Hilton Resort. Cool breeze, Spanish tapas. And there's the Mai Tai restaurant cocktails. The Busy Bee restaurant and bar. That looks to be a higher end steakhouse prime. And I'm not sure if it's open. Uh, yeah, there's one customer. The Wahin Brewing Company. Happy hour, five to seven. Special prices, drinks, 80 baht per drink. Teacher's night, 20% off. And Boone's always uh, up for some Thai seafood, the Sawati seafood. All right, and I was way off on uh, where Soy Bintapot was. I, I thought it was up Soy 80. No, nope. right there where that tuk tuk is. That's the street my hotel's on. So really, I'm a block away. Huh, convenient. And here's another little hotel. See the name here with the restaurant down below. Yeah, it's the Fresh Inn Hotel next to another Italian restaurant. The What is that? The Lo Stavali by Enrico. And all of these are uh, feet away from the Hilton Resort. But that's definitely the, uh, the party area slash smallish red light area here in Wyhen. And I'm going to go take a, a look at the property here at the Hilton. I know I'm going to regret not staying here once I see it. This was a decision we made at uh, about 10 o'clock last night. Let's just make a cheap run over. And that didn't include uh, hanging out at the pool at the Hilton having uh, a dozen drinks. Yes, as expected. It's beautiful. Yes, this is really nice. And feet from the sand. And they have some nice bungalows. Pretty good water slide. Buy one, get one free. Cans of beer, 180 baht, happy hour. Four to five. It's not very long, but uh, that is one good thing about Thailand. You can uh, come to a nicer hotel and, oh sure, you're paying whatever that is. Uh, 180 baht for a single beer, that is at the Hilton. But that's not too bad. You you go get a beer in uh, the five star Hilton in Tokyo or New York City, and it's not going to be 180 baht. And right over there, on the other side of uh, all the seating, is the original beach area I walked down to with the horses. So thank you so much for following along this little trip from Bangkok into Wai Hin. More videos to come. We'll see you later. Have a great afternoon.